Pisces, we are knowing that these lines gate portal energies and the other surrounding energies of ascension have been they haven't been too nice to you this time around and this is the perception that you're needing to heal okay um is it the energies that aren't being nice to you or is it that you are still in a fight or flight mentality you're still in a um the world is against me um mentality uh in a uh abandon abandonment mentality look all of these are of the shadow ego they're the shadow ego of the 3d you have blessings that are here now for you they were here yesterday for you they're here tomorrow for you but unless you're able to heal your perspective and release everything that you feel or you think that you know through through your social conditioning um, look that's the change that you need to make so that you can receive your blessings so that you can finally manifest your heaven on earth thank you pisces for joining us this is catherine and tanya of the twin flame mystique 1111 uh we are giving you an ascension energy update and tanya is pulling out the cards and let's see what <coughs> she has going on for you your cards are crazy crazy awesome wow okay so first we have encouragement listening and coming to life mm. so you're receiving encouragement from your your angels your guides from the universe they're asking you to listen with your heart um now is not the time for action or for words it's for listening right with your heart and that's how you go or i'm sorry that's how you gain clarity right then you have the coming to life. Mm -hmm. And that is about a long cherished dream mm. that's coming finally, finally, finally here. Coming to fruition. Yeah. So we have reconciliation, unrequited love, and codependency. Yeah. So let's start with the unrequited love mm. and the codependency. Mm -mm -mm. Those are <coughs> big ones. You have to have love for yourself True. before you can have love for another person. That's right. And before they can have love for you. That's right. Um, the codependency, are you staying with somebody because you've been with them for a long time? Are you staying with somebody out of fear? This reconciliation is really reconciliation that you need to do with yourself. That's right. You need to reconcile some things from your past. Right. Um, for yourself. Right. Because this unrequited love, this codependency, you know, that's not good energy. Mm -mm. And if there's somebody, someone else trying to come in, because there's chemistry with someone, mm -hmm. And you're blocking it. Yeah. The universe says it's time to create. It's time to have respect for yourself. True. True. <clears throat> right. And this codependency, too, is also about um, looking for um, your comfort, okay, in others versus the uh, versus finding this within yourself right you've got to want to you've got to be okay with you before you can release this before you can release codependency if not you're always going to be there you're always going to be disappointed you're always going to be sad and upset that the world isn't taking care of you and they're not doing for you when in all actuality Honey, the universe is kind of getting a little tired from doing for you. 
and you not reciprocating by being gracious, by having gratitude, okay? Look, don't let your luck run out. Don't let it run out. And you're the only one that's responsible for that luck, for that love, for that attention. It is where your vibration is. If your vibration is low about yourself, about your self-worth and your self-love, then that's what you're going to attract, okay? And right now, these ascension energies are, 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 are moving away from you. Um, situations, people, jobs, homes, relationships that um, don't jive for, for, don't jive where your energy is. So this is your energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if you've got, you know, some situations happening where you're very heartbroken. Honey, that's on you. That's on you, Pisces. Okay? It's a fear of change. It we, is a fear of change. We all have that fear. Yes, we do. Of change. Yes. But what you have to remember is, is that you're beautiful and you're perfect just as you are. And you are so loved. So loved. You have so much love to give as a Pisces, and you're not able to give it if you're giving it to the wrong person. That's right. And so we also have here, release your ex and pay attention to the red flag. You know, you, you know. You already know. You've exhausted this, Pisces. You already know. I'm, I'm surprised but, that this is coming back around again for you. You know what? It's coming back around kind of really for everyone. Yeah, it is in some way, mm -hmm. in some fashion. Depend, you know, whatever it is that you have not yet been able to let go of, is that's, what's that's what's coming. Back. Right, that's what's causing conflict. We've okay. experienced it. Everybody, yes, we everybody's have. going through the same thing. Right. Um, but just know, you've attracted it from where your energy is. Okay. No one else. So from where your energy is. These cards are really crazy because we have three major arcana and then the four of wands so mm. first of all we have the magician and that just mm. tells me that you can manifest whatever you want you to sure manifest can. you're strong and it's like you've already manifested it but yet it's like you don't want it or not that you don't want it it's like you manifested your desires but you're not open to receive them yet right so we also have the judgment, final decision. It's time to ascend. It's time to go to that next level. Right, right. And with the will of fortune, it's like everything is on your side. Yeah. And then you have the four of wands, happy home, happy family. Yes. You are yes. guarded and protected. You are. So th really, this should just be a confirmation, a validation of you knowing what it is that you need to do right to get your blessings right so we have forgiveness heals that's right with topaz sodalite socialize or join in yeah and appetite progress not perfection exactly we're all a, a work in progress all of us all and of us but right. you're so on the right you're on the right track you're on the right path um everything looks Great. Mm -hmm. It's just that that one more time of letting go. Right. And love is never in vain. That's right. When you finally see what this whole time space thing is all about, you're going to laugh. You're going to cry. And you're going to be so, 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 so happy you loved as much as you did. And it's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Love is never in vain. Never. Never. And then you'll realize that everything that you were wanting has been hidden in plain view. <coughs> right in front of you. Ready for you to be in your divine timing within your healing to see it and to experience it. Rather than having a codependency and expecting for others to bring it to you and make you feel like that. You gotta make yourself feel like that first. This card really sums sums it all up. Loneliness. When you stop fearing your aloneness, you stop settling for less than you deserve. May I embrace and love my solitude, and that's when kindred spirits can finally come. That's right. 
You're good right. for it. You are. You're very and lovable. And it's that, it's the throat shot. Like, I'm so tongue-tied. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm, like, right. so tongue-tied. Right. You're very lovable Pisces. You're brilliant. But like when the you most, get... Yes. The most intuitive, the most yes, creative, you are. the most artistic. Yes, the most loving. The most loving. But if you're not loving yourself, then you're in judgment of how others are loving you. And that's not the way it is, honey. That is not the way it goes. Because everybody is in their own survival game in this 3D uh you know, in the in the three D shadow ego of this human experience. You know? So you can't hold others up to um what you are needing to do for you. <coughs> plain and simple. Plain and simple. So um wow. So there it is. It's a beautiful Pisces. it's a beautiful reading. It Look, is a beautiful reading. It's about the healing. Yes. You do your healing and, and you, you reap the rewards of you do. it. And for those of you that are on the Twin Flame journey, yes, we have be in the present. Your inner journey dictates the actions of your soul and how they manifest in this lifetime. While the journey unfolds, focus on staying in the present moment. Being aware of ourself and what is within our control is a path to self-truth and soul alignment. That's right. That's right. And then we have healing. The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses mm -hmm. and harmonizing everything accordingly. Mm -hmm. Beautiful reading. Y'all are there. Y'all are there. Yeah. It's just, this is the last little thing um, that you need to release. Mm -hmm. It's that fear and, you know, being a Pisces moon, I know exactly what that feels like. It's like... If you let go of what you've always known, what if there's nothing there after that? But yeah. there's always something there. Always. There's always something better. Exactly. If it gets to the point where you know you don't need to be with a certain person or be in a certain um, situation, work situation, right. whatever the case. Right. Loving situation. You know you have to let it go. That's right. Because it, this is the time for karmic rewards. It is. Take advantage of it. Right. But you have to be in union within yourself. You have to be in union within yourself without putting that on others to do for you. Because that will never, ever work. Pisces, love yourself. You're worth it. All right, Pisces, thank you guys so much. Please like and subscribe.